Our sentencing day for a 64 year old man convicted of manslaughter and the deaths of two high school teenagers. This was back in 2019. 18 year old Logan Deerdorf and 17 year old Shelby Johnson were about to go on their first date when their lives were tragically cut short. Police say Roger Flint, a man with a history of seizures, slammed into Logan's Mustang at a high rate of speed. Flint had two recent public seizures in the days leading up to the crash. News 4's Caitlin Ogle was there and has his sentence as it was handed down. Caitlin. Eight years, that's the maximum sentence the judge handed down for the two counts of second degree manslaughter. The teen's family say they're grateful for the sentence, even though to them, it feels more like a slap on the wrist. Is it enough? Absolutely not. God don't like ugly, and that's exactly what that man is. I hope that this gives the family some peace. Roger Flint entering the Pottawatomie County Courthouse after being convicted of two second degree manslaughter charges for the death of Logan Deerdorf and Shelby Johnson, the judge giving him an eight year sentence. We lost the opportunity to see what they would have became. And they lost the opportunity to live. Logan and Shelby did save a lot of lives that day, I feel. January 2019, the two Tecumseh teens out on their first real date and Logan's beloved Mustang. Took a lot of doings to get that first date by themselves. The couple at a busy intersection when Flint rammed into them at more than 100 miles per hour, the speed limit 35. I think they had been gone 45 minutes before they were killed. Prosecutors say the 64 year old has a history of seizures spanning two decades. He'd reportedly had two recent episodes in the days before, one at his church, the other was allowed to have a seizure in his doctor's office and drive away from his doctor's office that day. Attorneys also arguing Flint had recently stopped taking his seizure medication due to side effects. Logan's loved ones in the courtroom telling News 4 they didn't feel like he showed any remorse. The only thing that came out of his mouth was, well, if I had a gun, I would. I would kill myself right now. He's a coward and uh, he deserves everything that happens in prison. Now the family doing their best to heal from the unimaginable loss. He passed away, he passed away with the love of his life. So I hope he remembers my son's face. When two lives are taken, young lives especially, there, there's really no punishment that can fit that crime. In the meantime, two lawmakers proposing the Shelby Johnson and Logan Deerdorf Act, which would allow DPS to deny or cancel a driver's license for certain medical ailments. It's not yet clear if that bill will be heard next session.